Janelle and I decided to make this video as of a few requests I've had in the comments in my last video about what my biggest tip is that I have learned to not struggle on the 80-10-10 diet anymore. So originally I started this lifestyle, well what I thought was the lifestyle, 80-10-10 um, and by recommendation from some people I was told to emphasize lots of sweet fruits. So just getting in as many calories as I possibly could on sweet fruits. Um, and they also said to do vegetables, but I feel like the emphasis was definitely on sweet fruits. So I did that and I just I failed miserably. I just I couldn't stay on the lifestyle 100% and it was really hard that I couldn't do that. And it tore me up inside and I just really wanted to succeed, so when I went out to fast with Dr. Graham in January 2013, I learned exactly what I needed to know to succeed on the 80-10-10 lifestyle as far as diet, and so now I'm not struggling, so what is my biggest tip? Veggies! <laughs> More veggies! 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 That's my biggest tip. Eat tons of veggies. And it seems so simple, but I just wasn't grasping that concept earlier on and was just eating a lot of sweet fruit. And all I needed to do was eat tons of veggies and then all my cravings and problems would end. And they have. So let me show you what basically every day I eat for veggies. A whole heart of celery. Organic celery. Yum. Don't ever throw that celery butt away. Eat that. It is delicious. It is so good. And I got hooked on them when I was saving them for Dr. Graham. And he said they were like the most delicious thing. And I tried it. I was like, wow, this is so good. Romaine. Heart of romaine. A full one. So yes, I eat this whole thing. And I eat this whole thing of romaine. And the best part of the romaine are the little bitties. The little ones inside there. It's so good. Um, so usually I will eat those during lunch, my big sweet meal of bananas usually, or mango, usually it's bananas, um, with some type of berry sauce, and I will either scoop my bananas into the romaine and make little tacos, or just take a bite of banana and then a bite of the romaine, and also I love to just also take big bites of celery along with that. Or, something that I recently did, was I take the whole... Um, the whole heart of celery and the whole heart of romaine and chop it up into like one inch chunks and then throw that in a food processor with the S blade and turn that into rice or type of slaw mixture there and I actually just put three leaves of basil chopped up really fine and a juice of one lemon in there as well and it's really good so mm -hmm. what I also have is two English cucumbers. Now, I like regular cucumbers, but I feel as though the English cucumbers taste way better, and I love them. They're so good. What I do with these is, usually, I'll cut them into one inch chunks, throw them in the food processor with the S blade, and pulse it until it turns into basically the same type of consistency as the romaine and celery. And I juice a whole lemon, and then I also cut up massive amounts of dill and put that in with that and it's basically it's like what I call pickle rice and it's delicious and filling and so water rich and just really good. As well as my cucumber rice for dinner, I usually always try to have two zucchinis spiralized and then I put a marinara type sauce or a mango sauce over them. Zucchini pasta, yum. If you've never had zucchini pasta, you need to because it is one of my favorite things in the whole entire world. It's so good. And just make a sight savory sauce. What I usually do is just throw a pound. Um, oh, so as well as the cucumbers, celery, romaine, and zucchini, I always have a pound of tomatoes every night. It is all, usually every time it's a pound of grape tomatoes. You can use a pound of regular on the vine tomatoes, but I just like how thick 
the sauce gets from the skins of the grape tomatoes because there's a lot more skin ratio than there would be on a bigger tomato. Um, and then I put some herbs in there. I go, I usually do um, chives sometimes or sage or dill or scallions. I always use those type of herbs if I am going to be making a savory sauce. And that's another huge thing is herbs, savory herbs. You can change up the flavor of any sauce with just one or two herbs. You can use one herb, two herbs, three, or just keep switching it up every night, going from chives one night to scallions another night, dill one night, dill and chives. Like, their options are endless, and to change up the flavor just a little bit by using just one herb, it really just, it's delicious. Veggies, that's the secret, that's my secret, is just to eat tons of veggies. Eat all of the veggies that you want and can fit. It's just veggies. That's how I've stuck on 801010 with not struggling whatsoever, and I hope this tip helps you. Like, it helped me, literally, it's the secret that helped me. So, I just eat lots of volume of vegetables, but I also eat lots of fruit, but just tons of veggies. And salt cravings, cravings for any type of food besides raw fruits and vegetables, I have had zero. I literally don't want anything, but if I'm craving something salty, it's tomatoes, or cucumber or celery so I really hope that this helps anybody and if you have any other questions or ideas that you want me to answer in a future video leave comments below share this video like and subscribe to my channel and I hope you all have a great day okay bye veggies and 